Hello, welcome to Level Chain Channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca. We are talking about all the 737 PMD options and today we are going to talk about engines. As we have many options on the PMDG, I've created a document. You can download this document in the video description below. And this document will guide you through all the videos that we have about the PMDG 737 options for example today we are talking about uh, engines this is the engines video so if you click here in the engines video you will be directed to this uh, video where we talk about double the rate and takeoff bump for example if you want to know something about like the gs capture before localizer you need to go to the autopilot video and so on you can always use your search function to search for anything that you see on the PMDG 737 options and settings okay so before we begin to talk about the engines and specifically about the double the rate and takeoff bump I have to explain you what it is and for that I've created a short uh, picture here that you can see right now so we have different rating options for the 737 and I've created this photo based on the options that we have on the 737 800 which is the most common but if you have for example a 700 a 600 a 900 this can be slightly different for the numbers but we always have a rate a standard rate which in this case for the 737 800 is 26k which means 26,000 pounds of thrust Boeing also create something that we call the rate which is a reduced trust from the standard uh, rate and these options that we have for the dash 800 is 24,000 pounds of trust and for some airplanes 22,000 pounds of trust Boeing also create an increased rate that we called it bump it can be used only for takeoff and this is on the dash 827 pounds of thrust that's why you are seeing 27k uh, you can see the 22k and the 27k in red because those two are options on the 800 the standard 26k is the standard one will be always there and the 24k which is the first the rate that we have on the 800 usually is always there and for the pmdg will be always there for the dash 800 so now we go to the sim and i'm going to show you how you activate those rates so when we go inside the airplane we go to the fmc and here we already are in the engines options for double the rate and takeoff bump but if we go here on the right one first i want to show you that on the identification page we have the 737 800 once again i'm talking about 800 uh, the numbers will be different for different versions but the configuration are the same and we have an engine rating okay this is the engine rating the standard engine rating of 26 k 26 pounds 26,000 pounds of thrust for each engine then when we go to the n1 limit you will start uh, your fmc with the takeoff thrust to thrust active which is 26,000 pounds of thrust and you can uh, see that this is the active one because on the 26k n1 this is the n1 limit for 26k the 24 the rate will always be there and Boeing call it to1 so if you want to derate your engine to 24,000 pounds of thrust you can select takeoff one and then on top there on the right side you can see now is 24k n1 which will be 94.3 so you have the option to change your engine's maximum takeoff thrust from 26 to 24,000 pounds of thrust but if we go here on the options and we call it double the rate to yes you will see that now we have not only to1 option but to2 which is the second the rate that's why they are calling here double the rate so we have now a 22,000 pounds of trust the rate option you click on takeoff two and you have this option once again 
on the right side on the top you have 22k and one 91.2 so you have the standard and you have two the rates the standard the rate and the double the rate that's why it's called here double the rate the other option is to bump which means takeoff bump which is the option for you to increase the trust of this uh, engine for takeoff if you call it yes it will create now another line which is 27k bump and uh, the short for it is TOB takeoff bump once again you can select the takeoff bump as active mode and then you see on the right side that you have 27k bump N1 now the maximum of 100.9 note that those options they are not uh, connected so you can have only the takeoff bump you can hide the second the rate you can hide the second the rate and the bump and you can have all of them okay of course once you select no and you try to to know for the double the rate and you want to select the second the rate it's not going to be active of course if you select no to the takeoff bump you cannot select takeoff bump as well but due to assistant limitation if it's already there and you select then no it disappear but your plane will be still on the 27 uh, k bump okay as you can see it's still active but not on a valid line you will never have this on the real plane because on the real plane the options will be there before you start your fmc so i do recommend you to keep a yes to both the only thing you need to be careful is to uh, check what trust are you selecting for your takeoff performance calculations okay uh, there are softwares uh, to calculate the performance and most of the softwares to the 800 they calculate takeoff trust with 27,000 pounds of trust. If you don't want to have a problem and to mitigate uh, your chance of errors you can always change this to no you will not have the option 22 and 27 and you never select 24 you will be always on 26 okay uh so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope now you understand the options you have for the engines uh, what is a derate what is bump and if you like it please hit the like button uh share it with your friends and if you have any doubt you can type on the comments below see you soon bye bye